Hey! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morton. <laughs> Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. If you're going to take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. Me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. That's it, Arthur. Shire. Easy. You're okay. Whoa, now, easy. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. The Valentine! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, <laughs> you lot hadn't been here? I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen. <laughs> I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich uh -huh. dollars heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there, New Hanover. Right, it's real quiet out there. 
Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Fucking... Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get I'm gonna your kick your butt. Off her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. Yeah. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Uh, I paid uh, for nothing. Uh, Think you took uh, a scam. Hey, there we go. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men but stupid bastard stupid bastard was bank sure i know small town banks are usually a waste of time but this is a livestock town there's lots of cash sometimes everything's you. fine thank you <coughs> arthur i don't much like being saved but when i have to be i understand you okay sure he only punched <sighs> me i <Arthur sighs> did a lot worse to him all right then hey Where's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with mm. a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just following it. You stay away from me! Get back here right now! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I can't hold on much longer. All right. Come on. No. You okay, partner? No. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them <laughs> steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, <laughs> not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I have it. 
I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one cent in this year old mind. Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy <laughs> cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's so, Arthur. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? <laughs> oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. There he is. Watch where you're going. Take it well, easy. You're about to pal. kiss that guy a bunch of. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you want some too, huh? Oh, here we go. Come on, pretty boy. Pretty Thank you. Kidding me, pretty boy. I hope you got more than that. Come on. Surely that's enough. He started it. No business is it of yours. <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. Javi. I've missed Charles. you. And Bill looking as well as can <laughs> be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, oh. trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah. <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but. If he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready.
Howdy. Just want to get a Pardon? drink. I'm parched. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in '76. Who's Not your enough. friend there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. Mm. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak <laughs> to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> write my name? bio, kid. I don't have a name. But you fought duels. Once upon a time... I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? Uh, I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Mm. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Okay. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never hmm. heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask him about Calloway. You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. <clears throat> How much you paying? <laughs> well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ah. Oh, get photos. Okay. Go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear, one of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Well, where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. What's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run. Up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. Oh, well, there's some all marks here, Jose. Got your knife? Easy. Now it's too close. 